This is my first uh, rugby club uh, back at Dursley. Uh, played here, I think it was uh, 1994. Played here for around about 14 or 15 years before moving on. So I've got very fond memories of, of playing here and uh, my brothers have gone on to play here and um, very much my friend group still play here. So whenever I can, I, I come back down and, and catch up with all the lads. My mum and dad first brought me down here and uh, my dad always tells a story that uh, apparently as a four-year-old I was reading the newspaper and saw that there was some rugby being advertised down here. Probably that it's home. Um, I think home's where the heart is and uh, for me, all my friends, my family, um, everything that's important to me is, is here and uh, yeah, obviously uh, it's, it's fantastic with the with the rugby um, and I think that the county particularly um, lives lives for the rugby. Explain the significance of the Dursley Bull because I googled it and I couldn't find one. <laughs> uh, okay it was uh, a nick well, one of many nicknames I was given. Um, Dursley Bull was one of those many nicknames I was given whilst I was, I was here at uh, at Dursley and, and kind of followed me a little bit through to uh, to Cinderford. Um, yeah, just uh, one of those daft nicknames you get you get labelled with, I guess. Ben, why are you called Bobby? It's not Bobby. <laughs> it's not. Isn't it connected to the bobblehead? No, it's Blobby. It's awesome. Yeah, it's not Bob. Blob. <laughs> uh, no, so at, at Gloucester, well, it's actually followed me from the Scarlets, really. Um, it came from Andy Hazel at, at uh, Gloucester when I told him a story about uh, Nigel Davis when they first signed me down at the Scarlets. Um, they, <laughs> they said that I was a big fat blob, but an explosive blob. Um, so uh, Hazy just obviously gave me that nickname as Blobby and it's kind of stuck. I'm uh, delighted to share that uh, I'm extending my stay at Gloucester. Um, obviously, it was a pretty easy decision for me, what with it being uh, my childhood rugby club that I've grown up supporting. Um, so, absolutely over the moon to be able to uh, extend my stay, and uh, I'm, I'm really pleased the way that the club's developing, and, and and really want to buy into what we're trying to trying to achieve. So, a massive thank you to the Gloucester rugby fans, really. Um, Obviously, the, the, the joy that we get running out at King's Home and obviously the away uh, away trips, it, it wouldn't be the same without the, the fan support. And obviously, I've been on the other side of that and uh, delighted to be able to hopefully pay back a, a small bit of appreciation uh, for everyone there cheering us on. Merry Christmas to all the Gloucester Rugby fans.